Alrighty, don't look much from here, but um, we're gonna be mobbing through that canyon over there. The Bruno Canyon Lands. So the, I think we're gonna do the Rim Drive. That's the only road I can see. So right now this is called, uh, this town is Hot Springs. We're in Idaho, Southern Idaho. And uh, we just went through the town of Bruno. Correct me if that's not how you pronounce it. Yeah, so let's go check out the, these. We did the Hawaii Canyonlands, and now we're going to do the Bruno Canyonlands. Stay tuned. we get to a lookout point. So let's check it out. These are nice rolling hills. Tight two lane road. Almost mirror to mirror when we're passing somebody. Like limestone, huh? It's pretty cool. All right, so it tells me I have to take a right to go to the canyon. You see, if you can see. All right, now it's just a pulse. There's no road at all. But it used to be because look, up in the hills there's a road. So that's the road. So maybe the markings were wrong. But yeah, alright, so there's no road. There's absolutely nothing there. Nothing. No tracks, no. No ruts, nothing. Okay. So, uh, cross that one off. Alright, Google, that doesn't exist. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to. That was, what was the name of that one? Uh, there's just a viewpoint or something like that. The Jaw School District, something, or maybe that's the district that's close by for that road. I don't know. Anyhow. Oops, shit. That took you right down to the freaking rim, too. You can see where the trail is up on the hillside. Oh, is this it here? Oh, here we go. Oh, wrong spot, Ace. There we go. Now we're on it. See? How do I see? There we go. See, now it's going to connect. <laughs> All right. Uh. Here we go. Now we're mobbing, huh? miles all right
not bad. Hopefully it's not too sandy. That's the only problem. At least I can see through the middle of this grass here. different than the desert or all grass here Almost like prairie. <laughs> I saw one orange wildflower by itself. One. I'm not a fan of high grass because you know if the rock is in the middle, you can go down through your chassis. But uh, at least with this one, I can see through it. It's not thick. Some service out here. Imagine that. <clears throat> this is not the main overlooked road, this is the one before it. Being this is the unbeaten path, we'll have different views from everyone else at the main lookout. Water. favorite water. <laughs> I was all over the windshield. It was wonderful. See some of the canyons over there. I think that's the main gorge where the river runs. Right? I think there's another one of those big those, those um, orange flowers. Oh, they're more common now. I'm seeing more of those orange ones. So now we can get into the meat and potatoes. See, now it's good. Get a little deeper down there. Canyons. Oh, yeah, you can see the gorge right through there. See what it is dark? That's the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Look where the road goes. Oh dear. There are antelope. Nope. Whatever it is. Wow, look at those gorgeous views. Let's see if I can find him right here in the corner. Where is he? Somewhere here. Am I not looking in the right spot? Oh, here he is. Hi. Hey, buddy. Mm. Off he goes. But look at that canyon. Look at the road down there. Man. Let me just zoom out. More of the... That's the canyon wall in there. And the road goes right down through there, too. Sweet Louise. Oh, there's more road, too. Whoops, where am I? More roads over there that's on that on the freaking map. Wow. Huh. This is where we gotta drive. We gotta drive on this ridge. Let's see if we can zoom out. <laughs> there we go down to there. There you go, so But then it continues right there. But see, there's more. There's more roads over there too. So you know, we have to get out and take pictures. Beautiful, look at this. See, there's roads going that way, that way, that way. And there's Libby. Living her best life. trucking on the ridge and looking down and looking down see and the road is washed out on top so how and uh, let me get out and look too sure about that. Alright, so I can probably get down. I can probably get down. Oh, it's washboardy too. Fuck. But see, there's another road over there too. Alright, so this road's all the way over here, so it's just a matter of getting back out. There we go. <laughs> hey, Libby. Alright. Change of plans. I went down on the corner and 
Those washboards are really not washboards, they're big hollows, and I was going to bottom out. Which, <laughs> where, which was that point. Where's my finger? Oh, but anyhow, shoot, the flies. Where the road turns right there, it goes down with that little bush, down the little, and it connects there. So right there is where the hollows are. And being that my rig is stock, I'm going to be... Um, hitting the chassis underneath and the the side skirts as well and I didn't want to bang them up so putting my ego aside I decided to turn around and you would think I would turn around down down there but I didn't on that point I turned around right here so how did I get up here well I put Libby in reverse and hit the gas and mind you the only thing I got going for me in reverse is my two side mirrors everything else is blacked out <laughs> so hit the gas and up I went yeah a little pickle not too bad. I've been in worse situations, but yeah. But my God, it would have been a great camp down there too. Well, look like there's more trails I'm looking at. I'm seeing just on this side alone, one, two, two roads going to the right, and on that on that Humpty Hump, Camel Hump, there's one going up the other to look down, I guess, and. Here, there's one going that way into the ravine, and then there's one circling around and going that way. So, yeah, it would have been a great camp down there, but hey. I see another road across the across the, the canyon, too. Oh, well. All right, well, let's go. Let's go look at the main lookout, then. <laughs> Well, hopefully I'll get a 4x4 conversion next, next year on it. Then we can come back, but you never know. Shucks. All right. Well, I turn around right here where I'm standing. Yeah, it's all downhill. Yeah. Uh, Three-point turn. Not bad. All right, Libby, let's go. All right, back to those nice and drive out. All right. Let's go, let's go. Ugh. But you gotta open up the door quick. There's flies coming in all of a sudden. Come, shoo. Out. Shoe fly. <laughs> all right. Let's go. I'm, I'm glad my um, transmission heat light didn't come on. That's good. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna backtrack here to the main road. It's just a couple miles and then um hit the next turn off. Hopefully that's a little better. Anyhow, so for the next 12 miles on this dirt road, is the Air Force? Is an, this is an Air Force bombing range that we're going through? Yeah, that's nice and subtle. Then. Sailor Creek Range. So then that must be it. Then Sailor Creek Range. 
I see um, shit over there. I'm sticking up. So the sign said, for the next 12 miles, this will be the Air Force bombing range. So uh, beware of objects falling from aircraft. Oh, well, that's nice. You know, just my luck. I'm just a moving target. Awesome. Yep. Let's drink to that. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, yeah, there's more. Oh, yeah, look, there's more shit over there for the... So they must fly right over me and try and hit those freaking objects. I see towers, I see buildings, I see silos, I see all kinds of crapolas over there. Yeah, now wouldn't that be something if something like that was to happen right now and I got it on camera? Yeah. I don't have that kind of luck neither. Another. Yeah, anyhow, let's get back to Marvin and going down through the canyons. How's that? A cup of tea. If this is my last video transmission, you'll know why. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. I just cracked myself up. Oh shit. Yeah. Hey, there's more crap all the stuff over there. That's more. That more look that, that look more cozy. I don't think that's the range over there. To the to the left. Alright, so. Oy. Oh yeah. Nice clear sky though. Couple puffy clouds. Can you see? Alright now. So search in my uh, comment section, people are like, well, why don't you show your face more? So here I am showing my face some more. My cheesy, my cheesy grin. Cheese! Cheese! Oh, boy. Tough crowd. All right, we got to hang up. Hang out right up here somewhere. Beautiful, beautiful sky, beautiful day, my god, look at this. Unbelievable. Certainly God's country. Aha, uh -huh. here's a brown sign. What does it say? Hey, here we go. So this is the official one. Bruneo Canyon Overlook. All right, hot dog, hot dog. All right, let's look at the sign here. Boy, the wilderness, rivers, wilderness. Bruno and Jarbridge. Jarbridge is in Nevada, I think. Continue. Continue down here. Such a gorgeous day.
this. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, coming in hot. Roads that way, roads that way. This is gorgeous though, look at this. Oh yeah. I'm not sure why I'm filming everything in here, but... Jets above me. Oh, that's comforting because we're still in the inside the bombing range. Alright, so I'm gonna back up to the side here just so you can see it. There's a road that goes right through too. I wonder where that I think that just maybe goes through some more overlooks. Alright, here we go. See? The Bruno Overlook. Sweet. That's nice. I did check on maps. I don't think these go down very far. I think maybe just a, a mile. But if it's just a mile, I'm sure the view is just as spectacular as here. There's Libby. All right. So the Bruno Overlook and the Hawaii Initiative. There we go. All right. So you guys have to. And then the initiative. So what does it say? Uh, ancestors of the Shoshone, Pite, Pite, Bangkok people, Grays here, Canadian fur trappers, Scotsman Daniel Donald Mackenzie, 1820, and French Canadian trapper Pierre Bruno, uh, Bruno. I guess that's where the name come from. In his, in his 1826 journal, Peter Skeen Ogden, which Ogden is named from Ogden, Utah, and there's also a Peter Skeen Ogden um, uh, park or something on the Crooked River by um, Redmond, Oregon, I think, north of Redmond or somewhere around there. Yeah. So a permanent settlement of the Bruno Valley it began in the 1860s. Farmers and ranchers passed the Homestead Act, yada, yada, yada. Still today, the landscape from here to Nevada is dotted with early names of the Bruno Ranching Pioneers, like Robertson Trail, Pence Butte, Wilkins Island. In the 30s, Great Depression brought hard times. Yeah. And 200 men stationed at the Civilian Conservation Corp at Hot Springs. Constructed roads and reservoirs throughout the Bruno Desert and beyond. Many are still used today. World War II in the 40s, because Mountain, yeah, Mountain Home has the Air Force Base, which is north of us. And then the current Sailor Creek Range behind us as is an active bombing range. All right, we got here big game. Uh huh. Big game out here, nice. All right, 
What we have over here, 20, 2001, the Hawaii County Commissioners. Okay. Alrighty, and the Hawaii Initiative was born. And long term, the, 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 I guess, um, I guess, with the interest in ranching and livestock, and and in '06, uh, yeah, has to do more and more with the public land management. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. All right, so this overlook is a glimpse of the cultural heritage of the Bruno Jawbridge Rivers Wilderness, the Bruno Wild and Scenic River. And the vision of the respected group of people, Sweet Louise. All right, isn't this amazing? This is so cool. All right, let's start over here, I guess. This is just gorgeous. Do do do. Couple walkways, so let's go down here. Do, 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 do. Similar to the um the Hawaii's, huh? There's a Libby. She worked hard reversing up that hill. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Zigzag. How come they're just going to put, like, you know, right down through there? Come on, people. All right. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. My big fat finger in the way. Wow. Holy smokes. Look at that. The river looks clean, too. We're freaking high up. So we're looking down river here, huh? River going north. Wow. That's amazing. Here's on top. We're just looking down. Yes. Man, I could just sit by a river all day long right now. <laughs> you know what the best thing is? I'm here by myself. <laughs> I'm all alone. Although, one person I wish I was here with me. There we go. Look at that. Nice hell. It's a little, a little bug, not too much buggies out. There's a fly now and then. Look, it almost looks like, um, like terrace work. You know, like for garden-wise. <laughs> Look at that, just like incredible. Wow. And just like the look at just like the prairie on top, you know, just like phew. imagine back in the day you had your animals and your you know, your little farm on top and find a rock and look down. Man. If there was ever a time to go back in time I think that would be the one reason. Not to change anything, just to just to see how people live, you know, just to be on a fly on a wall and just first glance. And just look at all that like that rock wall. It's just so jagged, it's like compressed. It's 
It's amazing how it's just still holding on. Oops, trying to zoom out. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna walk the fence line here. Just wow. Phew. Just wow. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Can't even find a word to describe what I'm seeing. Wow and gorgeous, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, this is. When it's really raining out here, I wonder if there's any waterfalls coming out through these walls, canyon walls. My goodness. Just absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's go to the next the next viewpoint up here. Is that a seat? I think that's a bench right there. That would be lovely. It's like, I don't know, two or three o'clock in the afternoon right now. And it's nice, it's mild, it's not super hot. Although it looks like we got some weather coming. This is a nice, nice little tribute, huh? Alrighty. So, the salmon migrated up the Snake River and his distributaries up the as far as Charleston, Nevada. No kidding. Wow. Painting by Delmar Kelly. Beautiful work, Delmar. Wow, look at that. Just.
I can get spoiled mobbing down the supposed to be the the Bunio Desert, but it's more like grasslands. Maybe because we're going south, so Nevada is in front of us somewhere. And um, man, you know why? You wouldn't be mobbing down the road at 45 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's a darn short. Nice little break, huh? Beautiful day. As I got back on the main road here. This is the main road. I think 51 it's called. Well, it's actually, I think 51 is called Clover Three Creek Road. Another rig was pulling into the to the road going to the lookout, Munio lookout where I just was, so. I think there's one more lookout ahead that we're gonna go to. Then to find camp somewhere. Alright, so I had to stop because on the fence line there's a whole sh shitload of boots. Boots from people that was working on the road or what? See, there's more. What do they look like? Cowboy boots or just boots boots? Weird. Like... Boots upside down and laces are hanging. That is so weird. Huh. Well, if anybody knows what that means, let me know. Can't get enough of the weather today, unbelievably. That road is, to go to the canyon was not maintained. Check out another one. Unless I go back to that intersection there. I'm going to go with that, to that intersection and see what that intersection will do. I'm going to go back to that intersection. That intersection. Oh, that, that, that just goes to the creek. Okay, that's what I thought. And that just goes to Clover Creek. Why would it be so good looking then? Six miles south of uh, Bruno Castle Ford. So Cafsas Castle Ford, 32 Hagerton, 38 miles 
River Actus, four miles. Oh, sweet. River and four miles. To the right and Three Creek Highway 32. That's where we want. We want, yeah, that's where we're going. And this way, and actually to the right is Nevada, too. Sweet. Nice. So, River Actus, access in four miles. So. But according to my next stop, my next stop is in 19 miles, so just keep an eye out for four miles down the road. I mean, and you can see the dark spot right there in the middle of the screen. I mean, that is literally the canyon, you know. <laughs> I mean, look at all the prairie. It's just prairie that goes right to the edge of the canyon. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. So now we're getting into more desert. The desert stage is, is popping up because we're getting more south to the Nevada desert. That's, that's possible too. There's a road across the other side. All right, so let's keep an eye as peel for river access. I don't know if you noticed, but we went from a two-lane paved road to a one-and-a-half-lane dirt road to a one-lane not dirt road now. It's literally one lane. So, but the, even on the one-and-a-half lane, I pull over a couple times that people go by. But those are those are snow-capped mountains up ahead. I don't know if that's um part of the mountain range here. I don't know. That's. Nevada mountain range over there. There's a farm down here. I like these um these like rock walls. They just like neatly stack on top of each other, but yeah, there's a farm is over the other side. We're just zigzagging up the hill, but you can see the farm down there. Alright, so we just left the main road, and that goes down there. And this is supposed to be the... goes to the river access because from the sign it says four miles to the river access we already done two miles so another two miles will be on this road to the river but it also said a four-wheel drive required so let's we'll see how far we get So we just got off the gravel and on this dirt road and the sign says river access this way. But yet the, the gravel road continues up going that way, which is not on Google Maps. No, it's not. So we got the maintained road that's not visible on maps, but we got the unmaintained road that is visible. 
Okay. This this looks like the Hawaii mud. <laughs> but we're dusting up in the back, so that's good. It's not bad. It's smooth though. Look like people have been down here. I guess that's the getting back out road. I don't know. Maybe this one is just that one looks that one looks more rutted than this one. Alright. There's cows. Oh god. I gotta take my time. <laughs> what does it say? 30 more minutes to the river. It was the longest four and a half miles. That sign was at four miles, or four miles to the other sign, it says river. I think that's what it said. I don't know. So, this is how the road is. It's just. Bunch of puddles, just straddling them, trying not to get into the freaking ruts. It's not bad, I can just, it's hard. It's just. the rut. There we go. See the rut? Just straddling it. I don't like ruts. They do the white to see in the rut. Alright, where do we go now? I think maybe this way. This one looks a little bit better maintained. Another another third lane over here too. <laughs> I guess whenever it gets too bad, people just make their own way. I don't know, somehow that would look a little better now. Oh well, we're here. Alright, so two more miles of this road. We already did four miles of it. Something like that. Oh, my bad, no. So, this part of the road was four miles, four and a half miles long. And we got one and a half miles left to go. Okay? I could have taken the another road that was two miles longer it just went around in a loop and I think I might go back on that one because that one I'm hoping is a little smoother when I was already committed to this one I was up a little higher in elevation and I saw another rig mobbing down on the other one so Yeah, but you know, I always got to take the road less traveled and you know, put everything through the test. Ford would be proud. <laughs> Don't worry, Libby can handle it. Just gotta see, there's a rock right there in that sand. Right there. Easy does it, that's it. Not in a rush. I'm just hoping that rivers. You can go take a dip in it at least. Cool down.
Dude, it's got in a rut. I don't like ruts. Whoa. Yeah, you see? Fine. No, see, that's a kind of... See that grass in the middle? See how thick it is? I don't like that. Because rocks hide in there. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you at the river. Alright. I'm backtracked and pissed. Because every time you, it's every time it says, oh, four miles. That was the first one. And four miles to the next sign, it says, river access that way. You go that way. Oh, uh, another six miles. Oh no, that's just to the next sign that says river access. And it just went on, it went on like three or four times, these freaking signs out here that says Beer No River. And uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Well, I mean, and when I, when I look at maps, uh, far, how far more I gotta drive to the river, actual to the actual river, it was, I mean, Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not worth it. I'll go to another river. But, um, yeah. So don't do what I did. <laughs> Where it says, remember when we came to the T, and it says about the different places on the, on the main road, right on the brown board, and we took a right. Yes, you can take the right, I guess. But skip four miles down the road. It says river access. Yeah. Do not take that one because that's the one I am on. And now I gotta backtrack probably about 10 freaking miles because there's like three or four more signs after that one. It says river. I'm gonna go take, yeah, this way to the river, that way to the river. Like, no, dude. Like, fuck. But, you know, God bless is a sunny day because I think I would have been more peed off if it was in storming weather. So, yeah, it's just dumb. It's just... Alright, so that's the other road that did the other extra two-mile loop to do. But I'm going to go back this one because I know the lines on this one. That one looks just as freaking rocky as the one I just came back on, so... Anyhow, from here, I got four miles of, I just did, I turned around two miles down the road, so that's two plus this four and a half, that's six and a half, and then I get on better decent road and I got a backtrack, I think another sign or two to the main road. <sighs> Plan now, so. Pinche to Madres. Alright, no river. Um, I was I was actually going down to the Forks Recreation Area or something like that. And that looks like it was on the river. So, I might have to find a different way or scrap that plan. And that is almost like miles within the Nevada state line. So... That's how far south I am in Idaho right now. I'm deep into Idaho. Alright. Let me backtrack here and get on the main road and put our thinking caps back on and see where we're gonna where we're gonna to go tonight. Middle of nowhere, southern Idaho. Chasing a river that doesn't exist. <laughs> Dirty girl. Beautiful though. You check out those mountains. Gotta find those mountains. Oh yeah. 
Gorgeous day. Can't get anything better than this. It's a ranch over there. All right, so I think it was a total backtrack of 10 miles. <clears throat> Got on the main road. Well, this is not really a, a main, main road, but anyhow. So I'll get down by the Forks Campground tonight. And it's, oh, you can take this one. Well, shit, I passed it. And because I walked, I followed a sign that says to the freaking river, maps told me to go take the river way, the sign too. Well, yeah, so when I turned around, I said, oh, you can, by the way, you can come take this one, which just happened to be this road. So maps again, fucked up. Thank you, maps. Although sometimes the fuck ups are nice, but this one wasn't a nice fuck up, so yeah, okay. Rant over. Check out this beautiful view. And we have a ranch up here. Unless they're just hanging and that's their hair pals. Hey, pals, over there. So yeah, absolutely. Let's see if we can get there before sunset. <laughs> it's like freaking 5 uh, 20 to 6 right now, so we lost like probably two hours. Anyhow, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see if we can mob down this road and get there in a decent hour. Well, I thought it was hay piles. It turned out to be a military installation. Old stuff. I don't know, maybe these are targets. And this is the wrong road. No wonder it's graveled. And I'm not going down through there. I'm, I've had enough of that shit to be interesting. Huh. All military stuff, I guess. Part of the Barman Range, or just antiques. I'm sure they see me. <laughs> Turn that one's like on tripods. Okay. Yes. Not going down to that campground. Well. Huh. This thing's all over the place here. Yeah. Well, there's another road down here. Let's try that one. I'm not sure. Another gravel road that splits off. I'm not sure how far that goes. other gravel road here. This cool stuff. Why they have shit like that in the middle of nowhere? And it just it says US government property around it and it just see those white signs? That's all it's just around it. That's it. Middle of nowhere with a fence around those objects. Okie dokie. Alright, back down to Marvin on the road. Let's see where this one leads us. Alright, I'm striking out. There's an antelope hauling ass down there. I think I got a big enough bucket of um, cheese balls. Well, here it is another one. Same turnaround as the uh, as, as the one over there with the military installation. Alrighty, well I guess I thought I was recording, but we turned around back to a couple clicks. Same roundabout deal that was this military installation up here had. In the middle had covered holes, inspection plates all through the roundabout. So struck out twice, mob back down this gravel road and mob back north and see 
what we can come up with. It is almost It is minutes to six right now. Whoopsie Daisy. Minutes to six and we're not at camp. Yeah, that's unlikely for me. So anyhow, we gotta find a camp somewhere. Keep you all posted, but in the meantime, don't worry about me. Enjoy the view. <laughs> Gorgeous day regardless of the outcome. Alrighty, well, drastic change of plans. I, I lost brakes. My rear My rear uh, right tire is is leaking. The line is leaking. So <clears throat> I gotta go into town to get it fixed. It is already after six o'clock in the evening, so I'll be limping to town, taking the back roads back to Boise. Oh yeah, I don't need any of those antelopes in the freaking road neither because I don't have brakes. <laughs> Alright, so taking the back roads back to town and um, so I got motor oil in there now as uh, in, I don't know Desperate times call for desperate measures. So it's oil. They're gonna bleed the system anyhow when they when in the shop. So I don't care. You need a line. Is I had I had brakes just up to like all day, and then when I needed them. Oh, interesting. Where's that? Um, where's that road go to? See? Oh, that's the main fucking road. Fuck. Oh yeah, see that's the main road. Maybe I should have taken down to freaking um that campground too. So this is it here. Uh, that's where I was supposed to go. Take this main road in two hours down to camp. But no, we gotta go three hours to town. I'm three hours out of town. Yeah, don't follow that sign. Three hours out of town. I'll get there at sunset. Probably nine, ten o'clock tonight. And hopefully there's no traffic on the back roads. Yeah, sucks. Oh, well, that's the situation. Um, see if we can get it fixed tomorrow and then see what the plans are after that. All right. Laters.